the first time I get to introduce someone who's going to do an introduction. So uh, our guardian of democracy and educate, educating on voting and keeping our votes safe is Lucy Martin. So come on up to do an introduction. Thank you. Thanks, Ross. Um, yeah, I have the great pleasure to not be running for re-election this year, but um, I would ask that if you would like me to come out and speak to any group that you belong to, whether it's a community group, a coffee group, a neighborhood association, there's a lot of bad information out there about elections and I'm always happy to answer those questions and um, just do what I can to uh, fight that uphill battle like, like Beth Wessel Kershaw said. So um, it's a long ballot that we have in November. It's the longest ballot we have. So I know um, there's been a lot of efforts to uh, dampen everyone's enthusiasm for absentee ballots, but I still think it's the best way to vote and to take your time to do that. So I believe August 30th is, is the first day you can request one, and October 19th is when those get mailed out. It's also when voting starts in my office here in Nevada. And I know you guys can all make it to Nevada because you made it here today, so it's not that far. <laughs> So um, I'm really happy that uh, Eric decided to uh, come and join us here in the heart of Cyclone Country. I don't know how many of you know um, Eric very well, but he bleeds panther purple. Um, and I think just the fact that uh, in Nevada uh, School District, uh, colors are purple and gold, so that probably made him feel a little more comfortable to be here today. Um, but it, uh, I'm just really pleased that the uh, people of Clinton County have um, elected Eric now four times to be the county auditor. Um, he worked so hard for the people of this county, but everything that Eric has done since he's been elected has helped every voter in the state of Iowa. So uh, he's been such a tireless uh, mentor of and advocate for the, the county auditors, and that has done so much to improve elections here in Iowa. Um, and that he is a true public servant. He's not about power and control. Um, real public servant, when they win, everybody wins. And so I think we need to elect more of them. And that's why we're gonna elect Deidre and Eric and uh, I'll have to say more, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, it was really uh, excited to be invited back to Story County uh, because uh, since I've been on the trail since early uh, September of last year when I ran for the Secretary of State nomination, um, folks in Story County have been incredible to me. So thank you all. And that's because uh, uh, my good friend and, and one of my best cheerleaders, Lucy Martin, too. So thank you all for the support you've shown me uh, as, as we go along uh, and now into a lieutenant governor situation. So thank you so much. Um, the last time I was here, you wanted a bio, and I think there's new people here, so I'll give you a quick bio about me. I was born and raised to hardworking parents in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, in case you hadn't heard, I'm a very proud graduate of the University of Northern Iowa. Any you and I grads here? It's okay, it's safe. You <laughs> got this, all right. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm a proud husband uh, to a Iowa Teacher Union Public School Teacher for the last 30 years. Her name's Tanya. She's right there. She's with me today. We have two adult children. Uh, Caitlin's 20, uh, 25, and she works as a server at a great restaurant in Clinton. And our son is a paramedic who's uh, just turned 21. He's a paramedic in Cedar Rapids. And um, uh, I worked as a journalist after I left the University of Northern Iowa. Um, also worked for a, a nonprofit that provided services to people with disabilities. And then I had this opportunity to run for the best job I've ever had, which is county auditor and, and commissioner of elections. And it's the best job I ever had because I get to help my neighbors vote and trust in the outcome. And that's very important to me. Another thing about me is that I'm the product of public schools from kindergarten through college. And that's very important to me. You know, when I graduated high school, Iowa was number one for public schools in this nation. And we all wore that 
as a badge of honor. Right? Even a first-generation college kid knew the importance of having a high school diploma from the state of Iowa. We knew with that diploma came some extra credibility when we applied for our next educational opportunity, our next college, our next tech school. It was an extra opportunity when we applied for those internships or for that very first job. But our kids today, they don't have that same laundry now. I was slipped down to the middle of the pack for public schools, and if it keeps going this way, there's no sign of that stopping. We're losing teachers. Our kids aren't safe in our classrooms, and mental health doesn't help in either of those issues, right? So that's what's on the ballot this November here in the state of Iowa. So let me tell you what we can do about that and what Deidre DeGere is going to do about that as governor. Okay. First thing is we all know that Governor Reynolds went out and knocked off some of her own uh, some of her own representatives that didn't support the voucher plan. So now we know she's got the votes for the voucher plan. Well, there's one problem with her plan because she won't be sitting there to sign it. Deidre Dujir will be sitting there to veto it. She's going to veto that uh, voucher plan because we need all of our resources going to all of our students at this time here in the state of Iowa. A $54 million plan to benefit 10,000 students around the state. And by the way, those 10,000 students are not around the state. They would be in a few select areas where they could take advantage of that. That $54 million right now, where we're at today, needs to be plugged back into the entire public school system to serve all 484,000 public school students in all 99 counties. <laughs> public schools don't have the standards that our public schools, private schools don't have the standards that our public schools have, right? And especially when we send our tax money to those places, it opens up our tax money to potentially be wasted or, or uh, for fraud, all right? And something else that's very important to us about supporting our public schools, very important to, to Deidre and I, is the fact that Iowa public schools have to take all Iowa students, and they have to serve all Iowa students. And that's why all those resources should be going to public schools, is to serve all of them. So let me ask you this, Story County. Are you ready to stand with Deidre DeGere and I to put public schools number one in the nation again? I know you are. I know you are. Also on the ballot in November, something that Deidre DeGere can fix is our situation with privatized Medicare, uh, Medicaid. You know, the problem we have right now is that, Medi you know, these outside state MCOs, they're rejecting claims almost a thousand percent more than when it was run by the state program. That means they're taking advantage of the most vulnerable Iowans to lift up their quarterly reports. I can't think of anything more unhuman or more un Iowan than that. It's broken, we need to fix it, and Deidre DeGere can fix that. So Story County, are you with us to protect our most vulnerable Iowans? Also on the ballot this year, and I, I know I don't need to tell you this, we talked about it a lot today, we're talking a lot about it uh, amongst ourselves, I know we are, we need to continue to talk about it, because it is so important. But I'm going to tell you this right now, Governor Deidre DeGere will be a brick wall to protect a woman's right to choose. Governor Reynolds and Lieutenant Governor Gregg have already started the criminalization of decision-making by a woman and her doctor. Their future is that we throw in jail a woman and her doctor to make decisions about having a safe, very personal procedure. That's ridiculous, all right? Governor DeGere, when she's in office right away, 
can ban enforcement of the six-week abortion uh, plan legislation, all right? She can also veto and will veto any ban to any contraception as well as any, any legislation that comes to her desk to ban abortion, all right? So what do you say, Story County? You're with Deidre and I to protect a woman's health choices? So always great to be here with you. We got work to do, right? We know we got work to do, so we need your help here. So please, anything that you can do, all right? I don't, I, I think there's an Iowa poll coming out here pretty soon. I think it might involve the governor's race. Um, but you know, poll numbers are great. Whether we're up, we're behind, we're a single point behind. What really doesn't matter there is that we still got to work together for the next 114 days to get Deidre DeGier elected our next governor, all right? So, thank you. So what I'm asking you is what you've heard, all right? Please, please do what you can to talk to your neighbors, your family, the folks you work with, and talk about these issues that affect all of us, all right, as Iowans, and let them know what Deidre's plans are. If you see an article in the Des Moines Register or your local paper that you think is great about what Deidre's going to do for Iowa, send that link to as many people as you can, all right? If you can, volunteer uh, for phone banks. Call people. Let them know, you know, what returning Iowa blue will do for them, all right? And yeah, even if you can give us funds, we need that to also get our message out. And let me tell you this, you know, I, I know I've been around, I've been doing this long enough. This happens, okay? This works. You may not think that five or ten dollars a month or a week heading into the election, maybe 250 here and there, will add up to what we actually need for this campaign. But it will, and it does. So please don't think that your ten dollars a week or ten dollars a month won't help. It'll help tremendously. And that's what we need from you folks. Because as my partner says, as Deidre says, Iowa is worth the work. Story County, are you ready to get to work to elect Deidre Dejeer, your next governor? That's right. I'm going to send Ryan to D.C. And you're also going to return so our work is easier, right? You're going to send us uh, Ross and Beth and Penny and Norm over here, right? So let's pitch in. Let's do some hard work this year, folks. I love you, Story County folks. Thank you so much. <laughs>